how to wire a Tado smart thermostat onto a combi boiler. My name's Alan Hart and in today's video, it's going to be a really quick video today. I'm going to be as quick as I can. I'm going to show you how to wire. I have seen, I did look before I did this video, um, I looked to see other videos and they were really, really long videos and they didn't really give you all the details that I would want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the box just quickly, we'll, we'll open the control up and then I'm going to wire it up onto this combi boiler. I'll show you all the connections, where I've connected it on and I'll give you some tips on where the wires go in the boiler as well and also where the wires will go on the thermostat. So yeah, let's get on with this video. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Heaterbill. Heaterbill has fully kitted out this garage for us so that we can do these videos for you. They've also sent us the Tado thermostat, again, so we can do this video for you. So if you're looking for a new boiler, please have a look on the website and they do a fixed price install. So you can look at that and see if there's a boiler there for you. Um, what I'm gonna do on this video, I'm gonna do the wiring side of it first, because I think that that's what most people will, will want to know. And then at the end, we'll look at the app and stuff like that. But as I say, I'll do the wiring side of it first. Now it does come with some very good installation instructions. So what we'll do, I'll zoom into some of these as we're doing it, so that you know which one we're looking on. And on a combi boiler, a combi boiler, it couldn't be simpler, really, to be honest. Um, but we'll go through that. Um, one thing to point out as well, on a combi boiler or on a gas boiler, you must be gas safe register competent to do so if you're going to be working on a boiler and then there would, it would need testing afterwards. On this particular boiler, it has a seal round, so you're going into where the combustion um, chamber is. So ideally you would be checking this afterwards. Uh, some boilers, these cutouts where you can wire it without having to go into the gas side of it, which then you can, you can wire it without being gas safe registered. But as always, make sure you're safe and always follow the current guidance and regulations at the time. So what we'll do first, we'll have a look in the control or the receiver and we'll take the case off the boiler and I'll show you where the link and, and where the wiring is on the boiler and then we'll get it wired in. So I'm just going to remove the case on this boiler, it's quite easy, it's just got two little Two little clips and that top just lifts off on it. And this is a Wiesman 100 combi boiler. When we lift this down, we'll see inside there's a link and it's the link that we would be taking out. On most boilers, or a lot of combi boilers, you will find when you get the boiler new, there's a little link inside and it, normally it's a red little red link or it might be a brown link inside obviously you need to check the installation instructions just to make sure that that's the right the right um, link for your particular boiler on this particular boiler it's normally it's plug 96 on it but as I say you would check in the installation instructions and if we just zoom in here we can see just there it's got the link in there and what all we're going to do we're going to take that link out of there and we're going to get the wiring that's come with the Tado thermostat and we're going to wire that into here but what I'll show you we'll have a look on the wiring diagram and I'll show you where that is so again we've got the installation instructions here and we're looking for the combi boiler section on the installation instructions and what we've got in there we've got two separate diagrams one says potentially free and one says switched live and we'll go into that in a little bit more detail in a minute we've also got the the receiver if we just open that up one thing i just will point out on there it's got a connection underneath there but it's also got instead of that being round it's like a slot or it's like a flat bit on it so for instance if that were tight up and you had something tight underneath you might be able to get in with spanners and tighten that back up, which I think is a really, really good idea. And then if we look inside on the thermostat, 
we can see all the wiring now that may look a bit daunting but this is for multiple scenarios so if you're going to wire it onto an s-plan or a y-plan you can also use this so for a combi boiler it's really really simple and then what we've got we've got the wires that come with the boiler and all we need to do is wire it into these connections here so the neutral and the live is quite simple we're gonna we're gonna wire them in so obviously neutral would be blue live would be brown we're gonna wire them into there so they're just all they're doing is they're the permanent live and neutral to make this receiver have power to it so just to make it simple for you and then the next two that you're going to be connecting onto, which are the um, central heating common and central heating NO, them two, which is this one here and then this one here, all they are, if you imagine the link back in the boiler, you're taking that link out and you're extending that link and then you connect it into these. So I hope that makes sense, but we'll wire it in and I'll show you in a bit more detail. So just to speed things up, I've, I've connected this onto the wall. One thing to point out, in the installation instructions, it tells you to do the thermostat and the internet side of it first. The only reason I'm doing it this way for you is because I think that this is the bits where people will get stuck on. So I'm doing this first, but what we're not going to do, we will not switch the power on. So obviously this receiver is not going to know that we haven't done it in the right order, if you like. Um, but you would follow the inst instructions and you would do it in the order that it's told you on this on this wire here we've got we've got as live which is as brown and then we've got as blue which is as neutral and we're going to just wire these into here so we'd remove this section here this returning bit here and then we'd undo these connections and then all we need to do is just put the connection into there. So that first one that I've put in to the left, that's the neutral. And then I'm going to put the live in. And again, we'll just make sure. One thing I'll say to you is, always make sure these are tight I actually seen a job recently where the neutral hadn't been tightened in and although it was working it started to set on fire and it started to melt the connection so it's really important that you do things correctly and then what we need to do is these two wires here so these are going to be our link at the boiler and all we're going to do is connect them into here so we're just extending this will go into the boiler and we're just extending the link so if we put put one of them into central eating common and as i say tighten that up again and then we'll put the other one into central heating NO and again just tighten them in make sure they're in good enough and then what we're going to do then we're going to wire this other side into the boiler so as I said before always read the instructions for your boiler that you've got and just check where the wires are going to go but this receiver needs a, a permanent live and it needs a neutral which is your brown and your blue and then to turn it on and off so to, to switch the heating on and off you're using these wires and then what these wires do here this makes a connection when you want the heating on and that'll tell the boiler to come on and then what that's doing is where we had that link in the boiler where it was just linked through like that that link meant that the boiler's on all the time so we're removing that link and then we're putting this receiver in 
So I ho hope that makes sense. But if you've got any questions on this, please put some comments below. Um, if you haven't done so already, please put a thumbs up on the video as well. Right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go into the boiler. So I'll pull the flap down on the boiler and I'll show you where we're going to wire these into the boiler. So now what we'll do, we'll lift the flap down on the boiler and we'll have a look inside again. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put this wire into the boiler. And we're going to pour it through a grommet underneath on the boiler. Now, we do need to be careful when we're putting wires into boilers because if that grommet is damaged and it's not no longer sealed when the wires are there then if you get your boiler service later on then it could be that somebody will come along and put the boilers at risk and turn the boiler off so it's just important that you make sure that when you put these in it doesn't damage underneath or the seal of the boiler and then all we're going to do we're just going to pull this in and then on this boiler it's actually really good because it's got a little plug here and this plug we can wire just normal external live and neutral to it so the the live and neutral on here the blue and the brown what we'll do we'll just wire that onto that plug and then that'll go back there and then the black and the grey we're going to wire that to the other plug and the other plug that's got the link on so what I'll do I'll just wire these in and then I'll zoom in and I'll show you what I've done so we've got us live here there We've got as neutral, so that's your permanent live and neutral. And this boiler, because this boiler's got, it's got a connection that you can use. It may be that you have to, you get some way goes in the pack. It may be you need to connect these wires to the live and neutral coming into the boiler. Or you might have to find another way of getting the live and neutral. But on the switch, the switch wires are here. So they're now wired in there. So obviously before you would ever turn the boiler on, before you turn the stat on, you would double check in the installation instructions of the boiler and your TADO or your TADO instructions and you'd make sure that you'd wired these correctly because the last thing you want to do is blow the controller up. Or oh, to be honest, we're still blow the boiler up you wouldn't want to blow the board up in the boiler so just double check triple check and make sure you've wired it correctly before you turn the power on and then if we go back over to this controller here and on the receiver we can see we've got as neutral we've got as live we've got the central eating common and then we've got as central eating no which is there and we've also put the wire in and we've put this cover on here so that this wire doesn't get pulled out so i read the installation instructions for the boiler and i've connected the live and the neutral to plug 21 on this so what i thought i'd do i thought i'd double check that with Wiesman, and Wiesman said it's a non-function connection so even though in the instructions it looks like it's a live and a neutral I've double checked and Wiesman said it's it's not and I, and I can't use that connection but it's always worth checking never guess always find out because you don't want to damage your boiler or blow the boiler up so what I've done is it instead I've took my live and neutral out of the lead that comes in and I've just put some wagos in there so if we have a look there on the live connected the live wire in and then on the neutral, I've connected the neutral wiring. So as I say, always just double check. So that's all the wiring side of it done now. That, that's the main thing I wanted to show you really in this video. But what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna go to step one, and this is how you would do it. So I'm just gonna put the cover back on here. So this is the way you would do it. You would follow the installation instructions and you would do step one. The reason I've done this bit first is because this is the bit that I feel 
that people get confused with. I think this is really, really, really easy. Really easy. You, you're only really, you've only really got to worry about two wires. You just got to make sure that the boiler you choose, just make sure that the wires, the link that you take out, make sure it's the right one for this, um, which in almost all cases will be. I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of any boilers where, any combi boilers where this wouldn't work, but um, as I say, just check the instructions. So what I'll do now, we'll go over to the internet router and we'll download, we'll, we'll connect it to the, uh, we'll connect the bridge to the router. So with this, you get a plug and you get some, a couple of cables. So I'm just gonna plug that in. I've plugged these in already. Got an ethernet cable. I've plugged it into the back of the router. And then we're gonna switch this on. As we switch this on, we're then gonna hold this pairing button. And then we're gonna press the pairing button until it starts to flash. And then we can see the pairing button's flashing there. And that, when that's flashing, we go to a thermostat and on a thermostat, we just pull the tab out for the batteries. And then we've just got your batteries in the back of there. Close that back over. And then you're going to click on the button to pair it, which is just on the front. So you're just going to press that and hold that. And then you see, once this link goes together, we'll know that it's paired. And that might take, a, might take a few seconds to do that. So we can see there now, that's, that's now paired. So again, you will be following your installation instructions. <coughs> but we're going to turn the power on now. And the stat will come on, on here. Should flash, so it all flashes there. And then what we need to do now, we need to connect it to the Wi-Fi on it. We also need to configure it. So if we hold the Wi-Fi button on there, and we'll see that starts to flash. But once that stops flashing, we know that that's okay now. And we can test, we've got a test button on the top here. And if we click that, this should go orange. And now the boiler should fire up. So we know now that what we've done is all working. We've tested it. And just click that back off that'll take a while just to go back off again and then all your customer needs to do then is just download the app and then just connect the thermostat to the app just add it uh, i'm not going to show you how to do that it's really really easy on the website but if you do have any questions on any of this what we've done in this video then please put some comments below i'll try my best to to answer them questions also we have got the smart thermostats but I'm going to do these on a separate video, I think, because I think that um, it'll do it more justice if I do that. So, yeah, hope this has been of some interest and uh, thanks for watching.